Hello, tubers. Welcome back to another draft here on Arena. Thanks for watching. Hit that like and subscribe if you haven't already. And don't forget to check out cardkingdom.com slash newmot for all your magic card needs. It's the moment we've all been waiting for. This is day two of the Arena Open. This is Lost Caverns of Ixalan draft. Unlike sealed day one, you only get one chance here. Um, you get to play one draft you have to go three and one or four and oh to qualify for draft number two and draft number two is when you can start earning some cash so we will jump into our pick one pack one here with a queen's bay palette in the rare not what we want to open what are the best pick one pack ones here we have a join the dead a frog pirate guide wing some okay uncommons not the best pick one pack one. I kind of like taking Join the Dead, even though everybody hates taking black cards. Just solid removal seems fine here to me. Plus, if enough people avoid the black, then we can probably get pretty rewarded here as we get, yeah, I'd say a little bit rewarded with a second pick Join the Dead. Number two. Had I taken the 4 4 flyer pick one pack one, I would probably take the tote second. But I don't see anything wrong with taking back-to-back -back Join the Deads. We won't be doing the Millennium Calendar this time around. Um, yeah, I think the only two real choices here are Join the Dead and the Tote. So let's just follow up our first with another. Not really losing anything here, nor do I expect very much to wheel. Is this where we want to be? A couple of black cards to start the draft. Into whatever this is. I guess I might just take the tote now. This is not the third pick we were looking for. I think the spike tail is probably okay if you really wanted to, though. I don't think we want to take it that early. Um. Dinotomatons, okay. Yeah, this is not good. This is not where we want to be started. I mean, it's okay. I guess the, the only issue is we just didn't open a bomb, right? That's, that's what we really wanted to see, but... Can't always get those. All right, well, second pick tote, pass the spike tail. Keep trying to read some signals. It's not really like I passed too many white cards anyways, so... I don't mind doing that. Uh, all right, some interesting options here for pick number four. We could stick with decent black and take the Necropolis or another chance. There's a puppy, which is good with the tote that we just took. There's also a Pathfinding Axe Jaw, which is a solid enough green creature. Should I just keep my options open and take the Axe Draw, or should I take the Puppy? I think generally Axe Draw is better than Puppy, so let's do that. Yeah, maybe a little bit of a reward here. We can take the Armored Kin Collar if we want to. Versus basically nothing. There's a hidden courtyard here. I guess if you were playing the Blue-Green Explore deck, we have passed what will be now two of these Cave Divers, but... Not too sold on that card, taking them early. I think really, maybe if you get like a Nikenzil or whatever, then you can consider taking those early, but... Yeah, extra into Kin Color I think makes the most sense. Let's see, what did our opening pack have? It had, it had a frog. I would guess we probably do not wheel the frog, but that would be good. Ooh, I actually like the uh, Jade Seed Stones quite a bit. It's a nice curve out um, artifact, and then later on it turns into a 7 7 that can often gain you quite a bit of life, right? If you cycle any of the big dinos, that's a pretty easy, what, 6 life minimum. Other choices here we could take Benthosaur, look to do a little cave nonsense. Echo of Dusk is just a good 2 drop in black. Captivating cave here as well, but I'm pretty happy with the seed. All right. I'll take a defossilize now as well. Now we really want to pick up some uh, 
what he calls them, the land cyclers. Ukbin box, seventh pick. Could consider that. Visage of Dread. I'm not huge on this, but it's okay. There's another tote here, actually, which is kind of interesting, too. And a promising vein. <laughs> so seeing some signals, this is pick eight Ukbin Bach now, for example. Basking Capybara, I don't think, is something we are looking to take. Okay, I'll take the Ukbin Bach now. It's not a terrible win con, right? 6-4 Vigilance Menace actually puts in quite a bit of work, and it isn't hard to splash for it. I mean, if we're seeing that 8th, yeah, that's no surprise that we're seeing the other one wheel ninth. Although, I think here we'd rather just take the Echo of Dusk now, instead of the double Ook. Mycoid's fine, Vein would be good too. Okay. Might be leaning in towards the green-black self-mill deck of sorts. Man, can you imagine if I drafted the, the bringer of uh, the last gift deck again, like a video a couple days ago? That would be that would be the dream. I guess it's more than a couple days ago now since I <laughs> uploaded so many so many day one tries. Some Dece creatures, Dece removal. Hopefully we get that another chance back. I don't think we saw any of the uh, Presence of Ages, right? Was there? I think there was a Black Cave we could get back as well. Millennium Calendar. Are we going to play Mephitic? Most likely not. Is there a chance I play Buried Treasure or Idol? Yeah, probably. More likely it would be the Idol. Are we? Maybe. I would have to open like that, uh, what's it called? The Dracosaur thing. Pretty weak pack here. Don't think Disturb Slumber or Stone Tree are what you want to be putting in your deck. Uh, Walk with Ancestors is a possibility. Okay, got the White Cave back on the wheel. Yeah, still leaning in towards this direction for now. Yeah, let's just make this... Give me an Aklazots. Boom. Polani's Hatcher. Yep. I gotta take that one. It's too good not to play, and it's too easy to splash with what we currently have. Um, what are we losing out on? Lorekeeper, starting to look okay in our deck. The, the Hatcher will be our third Dino. Echo is fine. Spider's good. Cloud Guard's good. There's a, another Necropolis. Yeah. It's good. It's not really what I wanted, but it's good. Start looking for some frogs and stuff. Hmm. Souls of the Lost is also decent, but I'm almost wondering now if I make a potential pivot and take the Its Quint here for the Dinos, because I think we can probably wheel that um, Ixali's Lore Keeper. I mean, how good is Souls of the Lost realistically? It's decent. And I guess Its Quint can wheel. But I think after taking Polani's Hatcher, I would rather take the Its Quint. Because remember, I took Join the Dead back to back, pick one, pack two in the first pack, so it doesn't even feel like it was particularly available, maybe. Some good blue. We just got past the Zoetic Cavern previously. Now we're getting past Staunch Crewmate and Lodestone Needle. But there was no sign of blue in pack one, so this makes sense that we would not see much blue in pack two. For us, we do have some good options. There is a Monstrosaur, a Cavern Stomper, and a Tali's Favor. I'm pretty happy with all of those. I think I'm going to take my first Monstrosaur here first. Oh my lord. The blue is just getting so hooked up. That was Zoetic Glyph into Staunch and Lodestone into Akalpakal. 
That's so unlucky. But again, we didn't see any blue in pack one, so there was no reason for us to start taking it. Jeez. Well, good news. If I continue to pass all of the good blue, um, we're probably going to get rewarded in pack three. Oh my god, though. I'm actually extremely upset about this. This is one of those weird times where the blue-red pirates decks is like extremely available from this direction. It, it's too late to swap. There was like you were not supposed to take Zoetic Glyph in the, out of that one pack, right? You're not supposed to take the staunch crewmate. You're not supposed to take like this is just unfortunate. There's another chance if we want to. I mean, we could just be like a straight up Jund build too. Uh, maybe Captivating Cave for the splash over another chance. Another chance is pretty good in our deck as well. Bunch of land cyclers and stuff. I guess I already have the Defossilize and the Walk with Ancestors. I'm going to take the cave here. Tithing Blade, Screaming Phantom, okay. Here's the plan. To get extremely rewarded in pack three, like I was saying, I passed so much good blue down the line that I hope whoever's sitting on my right is taking all of that blue and gives me all of the good other colors. Um in pack three. Chance versus Ancestor's Aid. Is my creature count out a little bit low? Spider over Necropolis. The double black on the Join the Dead might be concerning here. Might be a lightweight concerning. All right, only card for us is the Mycoid. Not a big fan of canonizing blood. Just take the fanatical offering, which is actually somewhat playable. Hmm. Yeah, it might just be that I end up splashing just like the Hatcher. I think the dip into Red was a fine way to go about it, but looks like our black is probably going to be better overall. All right, pack three, reward me with a threefold Thunder Hulk. It's probably going to be good enough to take here. Marionette, Raptor, Kin Collar. All right, again, this is where we're going to get past all the good stuff. I'm going to get past the Aklazots. Because of all the good blue that I passed in pack two. <laughs> going to get past all the good stuff. Uh, snail, minecart, another kin caller. I was supposed to just take another kin caller here. We have quite a few dinos now, right? Seven right now. There's a Hotley's final strike for us. 
probably worth. I don't have too much good fixing. In fact, I don't have any frogs at the moment. There's an Akawali and a Spike Tail. Also a Lore Keeper, which actually Lore Keeper helps splash for the red cards. And it didn't wheel in pack one, surprisingly. But I don't, like, this card's not very good, generally. But yeah, it looks like maybe something like this is more what we want to be doing here. I guess we'll just take the Akawali. Lock into more of the green black stuff. Ooh, another good pack here. Access to Malicious Eclipse would be really good, but I think I just want to take the Cavern Stomper or the Marionette. Actually, I think we want the Marionette. I need some more Graveyard or early game plays that also interact with Graveyard. It's also good with our final strike. Um, I guess the cave here is fine. Over veteran. We're down to four dinos if I cut the uh, red ones. Yeah, that seems okay. Third join the dead's fine. Wish I had a couple, like, just a couple of frogs here would have gone such a long way for this deck. But we just didn't really see any. I mean, I guess I can take the Visage now. Yeah, I'm not happy with this deck. And I don't know where it went wrong. I mean, I don't think the deck is bad, but I also don't think it's good. <laughs> it's probably pretty average. Right? Let's see. Tithing Blade, Final Strike, three join the dead. That's decent removal, at least. All right. So can I get three wins with this deck? Yeah, I think so. You know what would have been really nice, actually? If I had taken that Souls of the Lost, being able to discard the Thunder Hulk to it and then defossilizing it back would have been really cool. We run two mountains here. Probably. Because I have no treasure production. I have no frogs. Yeah, I think I'm going to have to run two mountains. That's kind of sucky. It might even be better to go 8, 2, 6. Green, we only have single pips, and we don't have anything until turn 3 at the earliest. Black, we have the triple join the dead. Okay. I'm not uh, super pleased with this deck. We will only have to live with ourselves and wonder what could have been had I drafted blue. Starting in pack two. Good. Whoa! Whoa! Our opponent just conceded the first... Oh my god. Okay. I... Hey! I am gonna take that. This is the arena open. I'm not sure what just happened there. Um, paid actors, something, something. But now I only, <laughs> now I only have to win two of the next three. What on earth just happened? I've never seen that before in an open. I've had people concede to me, but okay. 
Sometimes lucky, confirmed. Turn one restless anchorage from the opponent here. Uh, yeah, this hand's fine. Ooh, they're also three color at least. Oh, the reverse blade. Sure. Redrop on turn three. If we can find a, a land next turn to go two drop, three drop, four drop, that would be fantastic. Just, just permanence, is that what it reads? So technically, if you really need to, you can return a land. Oof. Damn. The fact that they only played Pirate Hat this turn. Man, if I had been able to play Axe Jaw, we might have actually just like won the game on the spot. Because of our backup. Like if they don't have very much interaction to follow up. Yeah. Hmm. Oh, this is kind of interesting. But I think the Tithing Blade is just a little bit too strong here. Final strike. Wow, their best play is to animate this and loot? No, it makes a map. Let's see. Actually, don't think I've seen the Restless Anchorage attack maybe more than once ever. <laughs> Screaming Phantom. Are they going to leave that on top? I guess they might, because they could play it and then equip the hat to it next turn. Alright, so let's attack, mill one. Then we play the Axe Jaw. Yeah, they did leave it on top. Bitter Triumph discarding a land. Okay. Um. Hmm. Yeah, I guess I'm going to offer the trade here. Did not want to take it. We milled the Jade Seed Stones. It's actually pretty good. Get back the seed stones. Good mill. Marionette and a land gone. So next turn we can play one of our four drops plus hold up join the dead's pretty nuts. Are they just going to equip the hat to it? Wow, this is so good for us. Okay. Another land discarded. Shipwreck Sentry. Okay, well, their deck looks very beatable. Put one, two, one here. Build another join the dead, sadly. But we have two lethal threats next turn. Okay. 
Uh, so we can just go... Captivating cave here. And attack with both. Could also go with the Visage and then join the dead, but... I don't need to show them the Visage this way, and I don't think there's anything they can have here. Um to really ruin us anyways. They can survive, sure, but... The guess is that they're gonna animate their land. Oh, they didn't animate their land. Oh. Oh, okay. Sure. Well, they're still in a pretty rough spot. We have a lethal creature. They can only animate their land, and if they just brick, they die, so... Like I said, they could survive, but very unlikely they were going to be able to blow us out. The Join the Dead was going to kill something regardless. So, Esper Stuff. We didn't see anything white um, besides the Anchorage, which... I mean, people do splash just the lands, but I don't know if that's worth it. So I'm guessing they have, like, some amount of Petrify non... I mean, we don't really have much of a sideboard anyways, so... I guess that doesn't really matter. Felt like my computer kept overheating. That's why I kept looking down. Feeling the fans, making sure they were on. <laughs> Okay, game two. They weren't very fast, but I don't know if this hand is worth keeping. It just doesn't do anything. That's a lot better. Uh... Keep the three drops. Okay. Cave Diver, too. Ooh, I really need to hit a third land here. Sure. Phew. All right, let's get the Kin Caller online. Because Akawali is just a 3-3 as well, but this one we can make sure we can start gaining some life. Wow. Immediately Chupacabra on uh, turn four for three. Nice. Well, now I don't get to gain more life with my Kin Caller. I think trading with their Chupacabra is okay if given the opportunity. Yeah, this is a problem. Sheesh. They've got a good draw. Alright, I'm gonna just pass and hold up our um, Join the Dead. I think I'm supposed to kill their flyer here. So we can block their ground creature. Noing. Still haven't seen anything white besides that Restless Anchorage. The reason I'm waiting is it because it might lead them to keep holding back their Anchorage if I have open mana, especially since they know I have a three mana play in my hand, you know? Ah. 
Yeah, their draw was great this game. Two drop, three drop, four drop removal spell. Good pressure. I don't think we have a way to stop this now. <laughs> All right, let's go to game three. Run the back. They can't have that curve every time, right? That's what I'm gonna tell myself anyways. Ay, 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 ay. You know what would be funny if we get that free round one win and then just immediately lose out. That would be a little unfortunate. But like I said, I, I think my deck's middling anyways, so. Well, I think it's very possible to qualify for the second draft. I'm not expecting it. All right, let's be on the play this time and do some work. Yeah, that hand's fine. Even if we don't draw another Dino, we'll just run out the Kin Color on turn two. Perfect draw. All right. What you got in there, friend? Tithing Blade, Schooner, Echo. I guess here I'm actually supposed to take the Tithing Blade because they don't have anything to crew the Schooner yet. So I can just try to pressure them. I wonder if they just fire off another chance and try to hit. It seems pretty bad though. Oh, wow. We milled another chance and defossilized with our spider. That's really unlucky. Sheesh, dude. Wow, that's incredibly bad. It does seem like they're thinking about firing off the another chance, though. And, I mean... We can hope that they do a very similar thing of bricking. Alright, they did hit one creature, but that's not the end of the world. It's a crew one, right? Yeah. Man. If they had bricked there as well. Oy, oy, oy. That... Seems bad for us. Dude, they are running some chaff. I am here for it. We just go Phantom Pass, and then we can Fanatical Offering our Visage away next in the turn here. Let's see if they grab their planes or if they grab a swamp. They might already have another swamp in hand for Chupacabra. I think I'm supposed to offering my visage away here.
No creatures in my graveyard currently, even though the Phantom will start attacking, of course. Not ideal. Oh my gosh, dude. Bad. Oh, I should have attacked with the... Well, no, I would have pushed one more damage if we revealed. Oh, there goes Hatcher in my graveyard. Come on. That's so sick. Our mills have been so bad. Chance defossilize Hatcher. I have Walk with Ancestors left. Ah, frustrating. Remember, the mills are all random. Uh, if they attack here with Ook Bidbok, I will just double block. Opt not to. Instead, playing out their flyer. We will kill the flyer end of turn. Okay. A good draw. A very good draw. And in fact, it's going to be insane with our Captivating Cave if they cannot kill it as well. Even though they have the Death Cap Marionette. Provided they don't have like an Eclipse, Terror Tide, or Splashed Double White Glyph Bridge. That's a huge problem for them. Ray of Ruin and the Full Exile, but that eats up their turn to do that. I'm wondering if I want to use the Cave on my Flyer this turn, or if I just want to use the Hidden Nursery and Discover for four. They liked something on top. It's not bad. Okay. Let's start getting our shadow value online. Build our seed stones. Blah. Uh, no reason for us to mill anymore. Okay, I like seeing that. Pass with three mana. So they have a join the dead, is what they're saying. Oh, we'll still get the trigger here of the shadow. Yep, obviously. Know the land, that's good at least. I 
think I'm going to use my cave on my spider this turn. I don't want to go all in on Akawali. We still know they have like a bitter triumph in their deck somewhere. Fine. They snap played out their land, so they might not have Bitter Triumph available. They might want to have held it for discard purposes. So what I'm going to be able to do here is, before attack, sacrifice my nursery to turn on the Descend 8. Which means they would have to like chump with their marionette, well, block, trade with their marionette, but take a bunch of trample damage, and I would flip my shadow. It's pretty good. I guess now it might just be better to kill the Ukbinbok and attack with everything. They forgot to crew the schooner with their Ukbinbok too, which is a nice one for us. And there's no way they can kill all my creatures right now, right? So Grasping Shadows presumably still can be active the following turn. Now, if they do have Bitter Triumph, we actually are a little bit in pain here. They'd kill the Akawali, the Schooner would eat the Kin Collar, the Marionette would trade with the Spider. Oh, they're just going to go to one. Okay. That still ended up pretty good for us then. Two unknowns. It's gonna be gonna need to be something really, really good here. All right, let's go, baby. Two and oh, I just need to win one of the next two. But if we can win two, um, I will not have any losses going into the final draft. So the thing about this is, if you go three and one on the first draft, you cannot lose a single time in draft two. But if you go four and zero, oh, you can give one loss in draft two. So. Huge, huge, huge there. Even though we got unlucky with our mills initially, we did draw some hot cards. The Thunder Hulk was a fantastic hot draw. The Akawali was really good. Two wins, but really only one. Will I be able to convert. All right, we won the die roll. The hand is pretty nice. We even have the red fixing for Hatcher already, though we will not be able to cast it until turn six without drawing a mountain. Mountain, forest, oh, that visage would have been great last turn. Got a final strike here. Oh, no, in Atali's favor. Into Burning Sun Cavalry. 
So we will block if they attack. This card's Idol of the Deep. Sure. A little bit awkward. If I had a second Black Source Tithing Blade plus Visage there, it wouldn't have been bad. Man, once again, I milled my Defossilize. Golly. Kinda sucks, dude. Kinda sucks. Okay. They, ooh, they tapped their mountain for that, so they only have double green available. A froggy frog. Alright. Nice. Well, I was gonna go Tithing Blade plus Visage, but the mountain off the top for the clutch draw. Hell yeah. That was lucky. Unlucky mill defossilize. Lucky that uh, by milling defossilize, we were able to draw a mountain. Okay, that is not a way to kill my- oh my god. This is absolutely disgusting for us. Holy smokes. We are about to ruin their world. It's ward 2 though. Because we were going to sack the egg. <coughs> Excuse me, a sack the egg attack with everything. They would be taking upwards of, well, they would be taking potentially lethal, right? Yeah, so they'd have to make a, like, a bad block and maybe another bad block. Or like double block and trade with the hatcher, but then still take, what, 10? Okay, our draw there was nuts. Ah, come on, up a game. That was a fantastic run out for us. Today has been a decently lucky day. Got a free win round one, been drawing well. Yeah, that's a fine hand, though unexciting. Hopefully they don't have the turn to Froggy Frog. Turn to Glyph again. Alright, so they were a little bit land heavy, it looks like. Oh, that's a lot of red. No green yet. Are they just going to go for favor now? If they just pass, I think I might pass back and go for join the dead. Yeah, they did go for favor. Okay. <laughs> they hit a staggering size. All right, new game plan. Just fire that off now. Underneath. Stagger. Or a cycler, maybe? Ah, they had it. Dang. I was going to say, if they don't have a green source here, or a land, period, he'd be looking really good. No dinos to reveal, sad. I will block if they attack. Force out the staggering size. Easy. That's fine, I will take two. Do we want to just defossilize our 
Dino. I don't think yet is right. I think we want to go Akawali pass, hold up offering. Nice abrade. Played like a fiddle. Yeah. <sighs> well, we are behind. Oh, I meant to defossilize there. Whoops. Oh, that's so bad. I meant to defossilize and not walk with ancestors. Oh my god. Whoopsies. That might cost me the game. Shoot. Wow, that is really unfortunate. Turns out they would have probably blown me out anyways. What is this, 10 damage? I'm at 3. I'm at 1. Oh, wow. I guess we were just going to die anyways. Even if I had hit Akawali, the hulking raptor would have killed it. Alright. Good beats. That was a good draw for them anyways. But obviously my mistake didn't help. Hmm. Um, actually, Primordial Nar does not seem terrible versus their deck. Maybe the walk with Ancestors is a little bit too slow and dirtily. No, I think I like it. Eh. Actually, no, that's fine. Because we'll still have Defossilize plus another chance as Recursion. Ugh. It isn't a mulligan, but I'm not going to call it a good hand. I need to draw like a swamp here, ideally. Every game turn to Wanderglyph. Alright, that's good. I think we do want to join the dead here. They can't protect it. And we... Um, hurt their potential stabilization. And now we're gonna... Because we're tapping out the next few turns, right? Axe Jaw into Hatcher is insane, if we can. Hitting at that as a 5-4 was also huge, because now if they just play a Dino, they can't attack in. I guess I don't want to block into Ancestor's Aid. All the other ones would be a trade, but Ancestor's Aid would hurt us a lot. But now, yeah, look at this. And even if they kill my Hatcher before I sack an egg, we defossilize it next turn. Yeah, this is disgusting. I'm, I'm putting them on having Ancestor's Aid in hand then. This curve is nuts. It was a little bit slow to start, but it was nuts. God, again with the raptor. That's fine. See, it's just that easy. You just gotta top deck the nuts. Wow. Woo -hoo -hoo, let's go. You know what? I'll even give a smiley face, Arena. You're doing me a solid here. We're three and zero. We're auto qualified for the second draft. And now we even have a chance of bolstering our um, our record going into draft number two, right? Again, if we start 4-0, draft number one, I can give one loss in draft number two. I believe it takes two wins in draft number two to make uh, cash. One win is like 15,000 gems, which is still good, of course, but... And getting, giving a, having a loss to give if you start 4-0 is so nuts. All right, let's go. Again, bare bones. We are auto qualified. I'm going to keep this. 
we have a bunch of green sources in our deck, plus I have the uh, Join the Dead for a little bit of early interaction. Alright, our opponent is going to be on a aggressive deck. This is going to be a hit for three. We draw a forest. Ooh. Yikes. But that's okay, because I can join the dead this turn and then join the dead next turn as well. Um, and still play out the land. Yeah, their curve is disgusting. That's pretty good too. It's a lot better to use the Tithing Blade there than the Join the Dead. Okay, we have done really well at drawing interaction, but... Uh, I'm gonna have to kill that one. Dire Flail, take three. I don't think they're gonna use their treasure here. Oh, they had another land anyways, take five. We're gonna get soloed by that Dowsing Device. And it looks like they have like a one drop artifact or something in their hand, a one cost play. This is take six. Yeah, their draw is insane. The haste just means everything I've done is just uber defensive. I mean, the good news is that the grotto is now flipped, but is that even good news? I don't know. Looking pretty dead here. Yeah. GG's. Wow. Their draw was fantastic. The grotto crushed us. Uh, Idol of the Deep King on the Splash might not be terrible. Just another way to, like, it kills the majority of their creatures. I can't even be mad about getting nut drawn, though. Free win into us drawing very well in rounds two and three. So... Man. Okay. Well, this is a problem. Gonna need to find a land next turn, ideally a forest. Phew. And they don't have their nut draw this time. Oh, they have Zoetic? Oh god, they were targeting their torch. I was like, no, don't do it. The Idol of the Deep King is actually really nice to sack to the uh, Fanatical Offering here, too. I hope they use their map. Or rather, I hope they go for an equip first and then use their map. That's fine. I need to make my land drops. Good. Okay. Yeah, their deck. Crewmate is also quite nice. There's the dowsing device. I take six. Go spider here, mill and pass. Build my another chance. But we did hit Akawali as well. We can go Phantom plus join the dead next turn or something. I think we're actually happy that their dowsing device is flipping here. I think.
Oh, the wrestler. They might not attack now with the pirates, this, the whaling this turn. Oh, they did. I'm actually rather surprised they did that. All right, I go to 10. Should pretty easily smell like I have a uh, join the dead in my hand. I think we kill the torched creature here, or at least attempt to, because if this works out, then they can't torch my phantom, and then we can pump it up with the seed stone. Oh, sure. That looks too... So I'll just take three here, since we know they have the cog in hand. Oh, that's really bad. Yeah, their deck is pretty good. So they can copy Torch, they can copy Idol, they can, like, we are in a miserable position. So I leave that on top. But I think what I do is maybe get a little bit greedy and go axe draw and pray I hit a land into the arm armored kin caller. It would actually be pretty fitting if this was the uh Oh, never mind. That doesn't make sense. I mean, if I can get the Grasping Shadows online, maybe we can start getting our life back, but the Sahili really pushes hard. They said they're thinking. They got one more time bank. Maybe they're going to grotto and hold up their cog. I mean, they do have a lot of plays, admittedly. All right, they have decided to go to combat. Nope. <laughs> they have decided not to go to combat. Okay. So they're going to just like copy end of turn. Oh, they didn't even they didn't even equip, which is terrifying. Damn. Really wanted to hit a land there. I actually cannot attack either, which sucks. 
I'm very close to dead next turn. Because between the idol and the torch, they can shoot me down to one. Okay, they're gonna copy their pirate, yep. Oh, if they have unlucky drop, then I was kind of screwed anyways. Sure, they had it all. Okay, good beats. Yeah, the only way we would have been able to win this game is getting rid of the Sahili somehow. But we never really had that opportunity because I don't think we had a chance to not use our removal. I think I, I think I was supposed to kill the crewmate like I did that one time. They have so many different plays they could do here. They could even just like copy the torch if they wanted to. I guess copying the torch is the same as copying the idol. Kill the axe jaw here as well if they want. Oh no, they're gonna go face. So this forces me to go trade, trade then. Yep. Now they cog the kin caller. That eats that, and then they can copy the idol to finish off my axe jaw. Brutal. So if I draw another join the dead next turn, I might have a small chance, but now what they can do is like idle sack the newly created idle. Oh, or that. God. One turn too late. I mean, more than anything, it was just the dowsing device that killed us both games. Ah, sure. All right. GG's. Like I said, I cannot be too upset. We were 3 and 0, oh, so it was never going to be easy, but it does sting a little bit that uh, we do not get the instant qual or the uh, free roll. But hey, again, this is good. We qualified. I don't think our deck was particularly great. We had some really good draws and a free roll in round 1, so obviously that helped quite a bit. Um So I guess you'll have to wait for draft 2 tomorrow. Thanks for watching. We'll see you back next time. Bye-bye.